North Coast. My name is Tracy. I'm over here at the Carlsbad campus and I get to bring you the Daily Dose this morning. I'm going to start in the book of John and tell you about a woman and a gal that had just a, a gnarly past and she's um, trying to stay away from everybody in town. So she comes to the well and she's getting, minding her own business, getting her water and she meets a man and his name is Jesus and he changes her. He asks her some questions. She knows deeply that he knows her innermost being and she wonders if he's the Messiah that they have been looking for. And it was counterculture that he would be talking to her, one, because of her lifestyle, two, because she was a woman, three, because she was a Samaritan. So it was all counterculture and he gets deep within her and she realizes that this man is different. And um, not long into the story um, come the disciples and she sneaks off. She leaves her pot there and she sneaks off and she goes back into town and she speaks to the men who um, really had chastised her and um, made her an outcast. And she says this nugget of a phrase and she says, come and see a man. And I love that because it's an invitation to come and see this, who she thinks is potentially the Messiah. And, but he was so profound to her. She wanted other people to know and to hear him speak. And so if you go on, you probably have known that story. It's the woman at the well. But if you go on into chapter four, verse 39, then it says, and many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. Now testified is just a churchy word for told, told her story. She told her story of how a man had affected her and changed her and who she thought was the Messiah. And, um, you know, that's what we're called to do is just ask people to come and see a man and check it out. We don't have to be responsible for telling the gospel or getting all of it right. All we have to do is give the invitation. And just ahead of that part of the story where it says she told her testimony and many believed, uh, the words of Jesus say, Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. And I love how the Living Bible translates that out. It says, look around you, exclamation mark. Vast fields of human souls are ripening all around us, and they're ready for the ripening. And so just as it Today, I just hope that you get out of this little nugget of come see a man is that's my job too. If you have a testimony or a story that Jesus has changed your life and we now see eternity in a different way and we know why we're here, you want to have people come and see. And that may sound daunting, but let me give you just a couple of ways that you might be able to do that. Uh, one, you could just tell them, hey, you might check out our Daily Dose and tell them how to do that. I've, we have people all over the nation watching this because other people have said, come see a man. Or you might have them get on our website and just check out our teaching. We just started a great series of why am I here? And everybody around you, those vast fields of human souls, they need to know why they're here. So just tell them to get on the website. You don't have to even tell your own story. Just come and see a man. And I love how my husband does this. Somehow he weaves into his conversations with the variety of people that he meets and he doesn't even tell his testimony or his story. He just invites them. And he says this, he says, hey, look, you want to come see a man? I'll meet you any venue, any time, any campus you pick, and I'll come sit with you. And I love that too. I love that he's willing to go wherever they are willing to come and meet the man. So that's my challenge to us today, church, is just that we look up and we see those who are in need and we just invite them to come see the man. Hope you have a great day.